Hello, welcome to the Cosmic Cultivators. We are in the kitchen again for another challenge. I am entering Courtney at Wide Family Farms Comfort Food Challenge. And I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of savory dishes in this challenge. So I'm going to spice it up and I'm going to do a sweet dish. Kind of sweet, light, airy, and fluffy. So come along with me and I will show you what we are doing. Okay, so as you can see, I did not make you suffer through me measuring everything out. However, this is only the cookie part. We're going to make the cookies first and then we're going to make the filling. So the cookies that I'm doing are called the Anginetti cookies. And this is actually one of Chris's mom's favorite recipes. It's very much like a puff, puffed pastry with a very delicious filling. So this is my first time making them. I have had them. They are one of my absolute favorite things ever. So hopefully I'm successful and we get to eat some at the end of this. All right, so this is a complicated recipe and I am going to first mix up my sugar my butter, my vanilla, and my lemon zest. Which for exact measurements, it's a half a cup of sugar, six tablespoons of butter, two teaspoons of vanilla, and one teaspoon of lemon zest. That actually might be a little more than one teaspoon, but we're going with it. Can't go wrong with a little more lemon. So, I'll put these in my mixing bowl. You can never go wrong with a little more vanilla either, just saying. Just make sure it's pure vanilla. <laughs> Not the beaver vanilla. So it was my first time ever zesting a lemon. Really? Really. You knew what a zester was, though. I did, and I've just never done it myself. All right, so I'm gonna bring this over to the mixer. Old school cheat sheet. These are our family recipe cards. We're putting them on the internet. They're no longer family recipes. Um, so yeah, we're gonna mix this up first. This part, it tells you to make sure you have this deep very well before you add anything else to it. That looks pretty well beaten to me. So now we're going to add in. This is two cups of flour and two te teaspoons of baking powder into the bowl it goes and just like cheesecake we're going to add in it's three large eggs we did not have large we had medium so I'm doing four one at a time and they want you to beat it for one minute in between each egg So we're going to add the rest of these in and we'll get back to you because it's going to take a minute. Alright, so here is what our dough looks like so far. And we are going to put that right into a frosting bag with a 3 8 tip on it. Oh yeah, I probably should have thought about that part, huh? Here, I know the trick. Yep, there you go. What was that trick? Just gonna flip it up so that it's not pointed at the floor. So that way you're not spilling batter all over the floor while you're filling it, going, this is a never ending bag. <laughs> Do you need to spray that too? Yeah, I would. Okay, multitasking. I'll get the pan for you. 
part of the can for the pan. Yeah, it's in a very big bag, so I'm going to go with that to start. Sounds good. Then we're just going to show you anyway, right? You by the people. So yes, this is parchment paper. Actually, why am I talking? Yeah, parchment paper, because you don't want these to stick. They are going to be soft cookies. So... Because I mean, a Nephilim marriage to a leprechaun, the thought, uh, the rarity of that has got to be like, you've got to be like, that's, the, that's the, whole the whole thing. So you're making little poops. Yep. First, y'all said he was a dwarf. Now you're calling him a leprechaun. That would explain a lot, though, literally. Well, let's go back to dwarf though. I guess dwarf and Nephilim, same time period, because leprechauns have a lot of gold, and we already know that they don't have that. Oh, I'm going to go somewhere else. Don't even go there, man. Don't go there. Let's be corny. It already was corny. Well, I can't tell her. Okay, so anyways, guys, guys, guys. We Let me calm this down. down. I We're listening to Wiley Living. Okay. I, really want to help raise funds. I believe it's Chris and you Trish know, and Josh and Courtney. So calm yourself down while we create magic here. <laughs> All right, I'm probably going to need another pan. I'm going to pop these right in the oven at 350 for 20 minutes. Hmm. 350, 20 minutes. We'll be back with you. Alright, so we're going to make our filling while our cookies are still in the oven doing their thing. Second batch of cookies, unfortunately. Yeah. Well, no. Third. Yeah. We're slowly figuring it out. <laughs> complicated recipe. So it, Even my mother, the baker, says it's a complicated recipe. So We want got? half of this container of full whip. Half, yeah. yeah, it's about half. Eight ounces of cream cheese. And we're going to whip that together. Cheese is room temperature because that would be a unpleasant <laughs> to encounter. No, please let me do it. extra cookies. <laughs> the cookies that didn't come out right do taste amazing. They're just not what they're supposed to be. Here we go. Fight with the mixer. Okay. So the last thing is 12 ounces of crushed pineapple. And the reason why we didn't want to put this over there in the mixer is because you want to fold it in. Oh, 
what are we doing after this? I'm gonna let this sit in the refrigerator while the cookies are finished. Till the cookies are finished. Then we're gonna cook, cut the cookies in half and fill the middle. So we will get back to you. Okay, so through trial and error, we finally have a correct batch. Finally. They look like poop. Yay, poop juice. <laughs> this is the second thing that we've made tonight that resembles poop. Okay, so these literally just came out of the oven. So we have to wait a second and let them cool off a bit. But once they do, we're gonna cut the top off. That one's gonna be a little hard. But we're gonna cut the tops off, put the filling in, sandwich it, and give you a taste test. So, we'll see you in five. All right, finally. Dun, 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 dun. We have a batch of cookies that came out properly. It only took us, sorry, me, took me three tries. So, this is what we got. I'm going to show you what we're going to do. I cut most of them already, but yeah. So you want to take the top of your cookie off, like so. That one's gonna fall apart on me. Okay, then we're gonna take our filling. Which is what? Cream cheese, eight ounces. Crushed pineapple, 12 ounces. And eight ounces of Cool Whip. And we're gonna fill our cookies. You're shy, awfully shy. I don't want it to be ginormous. It's supposed to be. the top. We're gonna continue filling these and then I'm gonna bring you back for the taste test. I'm gonna be shy. Hold on, hold on. What? So my entry into the comfort food challenge. Tell me that doesn't look comforting. Of course, you're going to need it by the time you're done making the cookies. <laughs> so it's pretty much a cream puff. Just the outside is a little different than the puff pastry. Mm -hmm. Not cheap. So if I may here, these cookies we used to buy at a grocery store up here called the Noodles. They stopped making them. Market Basket. Market Basket, another name for them. They stopped making them a very long time ago. Um, so this is the closest recipe we have found to those cookies. Um, Gina nailed it on this. Absolutely. This reminds me of my grandmother, which is where this recipe comes from. It came from the sacred recipe box. This is one of the first desserts that Chris's mom ever made for me, which she found out I liked. Cream this, puffs. This is the sacred recipe box. But if you like cream puffs and pineapple, let me tell you. There is a glaze that you can also put on top of these mm -hmm. um, that amps up the sweetness. I don't like it super sweet. You do not need it. No, there's plenty of sugar in mm -hmm. the cookies and the filling. And we're diabetic friendly around here, so we'll everybody try. can eat this. But this reminds me of my grandmother. It really, truly does. It's that good. So, so comfort food for you too? Well, you know, after the potatoes, <laughs> mm -hmm. 
thing. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about if you follow us, the, the, the outside in potato skins, and now um, this really is it, like, it brings me back to when me and Chris were first together. It's a, a very fond memory of Chris's mom for me, and I'm a girl. Sweet treats are mm -hmm. my comfort food. Mm -hmm. I'm going to save one of these for Chris's mom so she can see how I do. I think she'll be proud. So that's it. Anything you want to say? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this. Um, definitely join in on Wide Family Farms Comfort Food Challenge. It's literally anything that brings you comfort, and all of us go to food when we need comfort. Mm -hmm. So do what makes you happy. Some what people like sweet. Love. Some people like savory. What do you like? Give it a try. Peace, love, and happiness.